so good afternoon everyone in this video i am going to discuss uh, about rt550 that is introduction to regulatory toxicology this is the subjects in ms regulatory toxicology in niper and under these subjects i will discuss with you uh, about these different units there is a total 10 units under these subjects first unit is about drug discovery and development second unit is about schedule by this is now changed with the new uh, rules and regulation 2019 uh, about clinical risk benefit analysis so all these uh, units i will discuss with all of you one by one so first unit is about drug discovery and development but before starting about the drug discovery and development i am just going to discuss about regulatory toxicology what actually it is uh, and uh, this branch is uh, uh, interconnected with uh, other branches like pharmacology and toxicology toxicology uh, toxicology so pharmacology and toxicology is the branch uh, uh, which is started in niper and uh, uh, you will get ms degree in pharmacology and toxicology whereas in a pci approved institute you will get uh, m form in uh, pharmacology not in toxicology so uh, there is another uh, hardcore branch toxicology uh, in which you have to, uh, you can do MSc in toxicology and PhD in toxicology and the reputed institute like Jamia Hamdard is providing uh, these degrees, MSc in toxicology and PhD in toxicology. Another is there is a regulatory toxicology, regulatory toxicology started in NIPER and uh, uh, what actually differences between these three you have to understand. So pharmacology, as you know, pharmacology means we have to study the effect of drugs, uh, drugs, uh, any effect, if it can be desirable or indesirable. So we have to be studies in uh, in vitro conditions, then in animals, then in humans. So uh, when we are testing the effect of drugs in animals or in the in, the, in vitro conditions, that we call preclinical pharmacology means before the clinical studies and there is another clinical pharmacology means we have to study the effect of drugs on humans so that is uh, covers under pharmacology toxicology is particularly the study of uh, effect of environmental toxicants toxins on the living systems toxicology in toxicology you can also studies uh, about how to prevent the toxic effects of the environmental toxicants so all these comes under toxicology uh, regulatory toxicology uh, is, the, as this regulatory name indicate, you have to deal with the rules and regulations about the toxicology. So, to become a uh, good regulatory toxicologist, you should have the knowledge about the basic concept of toxicology. You should know each and every rule and regulations. You should know what are the different toxicity databases are available and how to use it and how to do uh, the literature search, how to extract the toxicity data from different uh, search engines. Uh, another important thing is you should have good communication skill because you have to communicate with the government, you have to communicate with the public, you have to be communicate with the policy makers. So you should have good communication skill and you should have very uh, good uh, 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 what I can say uh, powers about not power so means you should have analytical thinking and you should have ability to review critically or each and every documents so uh, basically if you have all these skills uh, then there is a lot of scope you can get the jobs in the government private organizations and in regulatory toxicologist as it's in uh, there is a number of jobs in the industries as well in government organizations as well so all the best uh, students uh, who have choose this regulated toxicology personally i feel this branch is much better and uh, means lot of scope for this branch so i i wish all of you you will excel in this field and change all these regulations or rules and regulations and everything thank you